Discussions about wealth often focus on what successful individuals invest in. It's equally enlightening to explore the surprising things that the affluent consciously choose to avoid. Rich people often adhere to specific principles and strategies that set them apart on their journey to financial success. One might assume that wealthy individuals have access to anything and everything, primarily due to their financial resources. While this may be true to an extent, it doesn't necessarily mean that the wealthy are careless with their spending. In fact, they are often quite prudent. So, stick around as I'll tell you seven things the rich never invest in nor purchase. Number one, TV packages and video games. You know, we might assume that wealthy people have those huge TVs and all the latest video games since they can afford it, but surprisingly that's not the case. It turns out that wealthy people usually don't have time to indulge in those luxuries as much as the middle class does. And this makes a lot of sense because I'm pretty sure they got rich by focusing on their businesses, not by watching Netflix all day. Research even shows that folks in households making under $25,000 a year actually spend way more time watching TV, playing video games, or listening to the radio than those in households making over $75,000 a year. You'd think that wealthier households would have more devices, but it's interesting to see that lower income folks use them more often. In fact, according to the daily success habits of wealthy individuals, 67% of rich people say they don't watch much TV in order to focus on building wealth. And when it comes to TV subscriptions, they usually just keep a good digital subscription on hand for occasional entertainment. So, maybe it's worth reconsidering the next time you think about renewing that big digital package. Number 2. Luxury Items You know, it's kinda hard to believe that rich people don't always buy fancy stuff for their daily lives. I mean, sure, splurging on designer clothes, handbags, shoes, or cars might sound tempting, but that can really take a toll on your bank balance. You see, it's totally fine to treat yourself to something nice every now and then, but we should be mindful not to overspend on things we don't actually need. Even though millionaires can afford the latest styles from top designers, it doesn't necessarily mean they're always buying them. You might be surprised to find out that a lot of wealthy people don't even own a single luxury item and might even choose to wear clothes from a flea market while going about their day. And by following their lead, we might save ourselves thousands or more each month. Number 3. An Overpriced Home If you're looking for a new home and find one that's just a bit too pricey for your budget, it's probably best to keep searching. You see, there's no point in getting a house that's way more expensive than what you can afford. If you didn't know, it costs a lot of money to maintain a home. All those extra improvements and fancy interiors can really take a toll on your finances. Interestingly, even wealthy folks shop around when buying a house. They want to make sure they're getting the best deal and not being ripped off. I mean, they might be spending millions, but they'll still try to haggle the price down like everyone else. Some rich people even choose not to buy a super fancy house at all. And there are those who still live in homes they bought ages ago because they don't see the need to move into a more extravagant place. Number 4. Investing only in intangible assets When people talk about investing, the first things that often come to mind is stocks and bonds. But that's not always the best choice. You see, really wealthy folks tend to invest in things like land, gold, private and commercial real estate, and even artwork. Real estate, for example, is a popular asset class in their portfolios to balance out stock market volatility. Now, smaller investors might avoid these tangible assets because they're less liquid and come with higher investment costs. But the ultra-wealthy believe that owning illiquid assets, especially those not tied to the market, can be really beneficial for an investment portfolio. These investments tend to pay off in the long run and aren't as affected by market fluctuations. So, if you're thinking about investing, I hope this gives you some insights into how the wealthy approach it and helps you make more informed decisions. Number 5. Things that don't last It's fascinating how frugal wealthy people are, 
They make sure never to waste their money on things they won't use for long or that don't provide much value. Even if they can afford to replace worn out or broken items, they tend to be more mindful of their spending. Rich people understand that choosing the cheapest option isn't always the best choice. So, they think about the long-term value of their purchases and weigh the costs and benefits, instead of splurging on extravagant vacations or the latest gadgets. Wealthy individuals might opt for a comfortable hotel stay or stick with the phone they already have. They recognize the value of money and try not to spend it on fleeting items. So, the lesson here is to consider investing in things that have long-term importance. This mindset can help us save money and make wiser financial decisions in the long run. Number 6. Late Fees One common mistake people make when trying to save money is forgetting to make payments to their credit card companies. And sometimes, the penalties can be quite steep. So to avoid those extra charges, it's a good idea to keep a systematic record of when credit card bills are due. Wealthy people really don't like paying those pesky late fees that come with forgetting to pay a bill or other obligation. That's why they're so careful about setting up automatic payments on all their accounts, like credit cards, insurance, and mortgages. They do this because they know the late fees can add up to a significant amount over time. Number 7 only investing in the US and Europe. You see, while the European Union and the United States are often seen as the regions offering the safest and the highest level of investment security, wealthy people actually look beyond these regions to frontier and emerging markets all over the world. Some of the top countries where the ultra-rich are investing include Singapore, Chile, and Indonesia. It's a good idea for individual investors to do their own research on emerging markets and see if they fit into their overall investment strategies and portfolios. You see, it's important not to limit ourselves to just a few countries, as there are plenty of opportunities waiting to be discovered in different parts of the world. We can learn a lot from the way wealthy individuals handle their finances and the things they choose not to invest in. Emulating some of their habits and decision-making processes can lead to financial stability and personal growth. As we continue our lives, keeping these lessons in mind and putting them into practice can help us make wiser financial choices and ultimately improve our overall well-being. Well, thank you so much for watching and staying with me till the end. Lastly, remember to like and share this video with your family and friends. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Until next time, have a lovely day.